Hi team, back again for part three. You stayed this long. You stayed for factors and prime factorization. You stayed for that whole lesson on reviewing what real numbers are, rational and irrational, and integers, fractions, and decimals, until we finally got to natural numbers. And now we're going to do that last component in this video, um, examining the last portion that you need to do to put it all together. Um, this is really uh, finding out how many factors are in that natural number. And uh, we're, we're using prime factorization now and factors and a trick um, with uh, the exponents to find out how many factors are in a natural number um, or this mystery natural number. I hope you found this helpful. Um, once again, you can always go to MTEL Test Prep um, and look at some of the videos or you can contact me directly through mteltestprep.com. I'll be happy to work with you on your exam. Have a great day, everyone. Watch this video. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye. The prime factorization of a positive whole number can be written as n equals pr squared. So I could think of this, you know, if I'm just, uh, I could think of this as some natural number is equal to p times r squared. And p and r are distinct primes. Well, we talked about what a prime number is, but what the heck is a distinct prime number? I use this analogy a lot, but if you were to buy a pair of shoes, and you went to, I don't know, you would go to Prada, you go to some really nice shoe store, and you find a nice pair of shoes, someone might say to you, those are very distinct shoes. And really what they're saying, and I don't, and pretending that they're being completely honest and nice and is that they're saying that those are very, they're different. They're really cool. Well, distinct prime numbers are sort of like that. Distinct prime numbers are just two different prime numbers. So we really have here, and I want you to think about it in terms of this. We really have a, a natural number that's equal to one prime number times the second prime number squared. And now we're going to go back to our triangle circle and square. So our natural number, which is a positive integer, is going to be equal to 1 prime p times, one nat uh, times another prime r. So let's just, think for now, pick two prime numbers. They have to be different, two distinct prime numbers. For example, let's say we chose, I don't know, 3 and 2. 3 to the first times 2 to the second. What would that make your natural number? Let's see. This would be 3 times 2 to the fourth. I always do my exponents first. That would be 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So our mystery natural number is 12. Now if we go back to the question, the question asks, If this natural number, or if we say the prime factorization of 12 can be written as n equals pr squared, which would be 3 to the first times 2 to the second, how many factors does 12 have, including one in itself? Now, all of a sudden, this problem looks a lot different. Now we're trying to find out how many factors does 12 have. And we could do our 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and get that 12 has 6 factors. This is sort of one way to approach it, but there's a trick. It's not really a trick, it's more like a pattern. It's sort of another way to approach a mystery number. When I'm trying to find out the factors of a, of a mystery number, but I have the number written in prime factorization form. Let me put that in another way. Let's say you were given 12 and you wrote it out in prime factorization form. If we look at the exponents, there's a way to, just by looking at the exponents of a number written in prime factorization form, find out how many factors there are. We do that, it's called the, uh, for this purposes, we'll call this the prime factorization rule, but another uh, name for it. I just don't know what it is. 
We go to the exponents, and we're going to add 1 to each exponent. So this would be 2, and this would be 3. And then the rule says we multiply those um, after you add 1, and you get 6. That 6 means that this natural number has 6 factors. Now, I know what you're saying. Why don't I just factor it out? Well, sometimes you're given numbers which, honestly, doesn't make sense to do the, uh, the factoring out. For example, um, let's say you wanted to find out, and we're just going to use a, a nice one for now, but let's say you wanted to do, uh, how many, find out how many factors are in the number 300. 1, 300, 2, 150, that would take a long time. But, there's another way. First, I want to find out, I always want to think, here's my natural number. What are the distinct prime numbers that make up this natural number? So let's see. 3 is definitely one of those prime numbers. Then I have 100, I could pull out, I guess I could pull out a 5, and I would get 20, and that 20 is made up of another 5, and then I have a 4, and that 4 can be broken up as 2 and 2. So if I want to write the prime factorization, I could say 2 to the 2nd times five, uh, 3 to the 1st times 5 to the 2nd. This would be the prime factorization of 300. Okay. Now let's add that one. Let's do the exponent rule to save ourselves time to find out how many factors are in 300. What do I do? Well, first I find the prime factorization of my natural number. I add 1 to every number. So I get every exponent. And then I multiply out the exponents. This would be 3 times 12, that would get me 6, times 3 would get me 18. So 300 has 18 factors. And obviously if the number was larger than 300, like 1,000, or all sorts of numbers, you could continue to do this rule, it would save you lots of time. It sure beats going like this, 1, 300, 2, 150, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room here. 3, 100, 4 doesn't go in, 5 goes in, I don't know, 60 times, 6 goes in 50 times, um, 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, yes. 11, no, 12, yes. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's, there's more out there. I'm going to stop there now. Okay, everyone. I hope you found this helpful. If you can just remember box equals circle times triangle, and now you relook at this problem. I think you'll find this problem a lot easier to solve. Ta-da!